words. Highest pretensions can't lend me patience. When I ask you about the beard of Messiah, is this kingdom coming? When I ask you, would you and I sit on either side as vice regents? <laughs> Who knows? Soon we may become the reigning monarchs of this new Judean kingdom. Who? You or me? The first thing is to get this laid back Galilean to go for the throne. That man has no sense of power. Please. We'll fossilize at this rate. Look, Judas. I took two arms to rob the Romans. Then you won their pages as a spy. Ta ta ta, my friend. Bygones are bygones. The booty. What's the booty? The kingdom of the David decline. It is promised. Judas, you sure know how to quote scripture for this little game. Right, it is said. Even the devil quotes the scripture. You are the closest thing I've seen to the devil. Simon, Simon, I'm a pragmatist. Our best bet to Papa is the miraculous power of Jesus. We must get behind that. He is a popular catcher. So we must push him to the push end. He would bet the 5,000. We nearly managed to go for the rebellion. Jesus touched it. Judas, you have been so long with the master, and you have not changed. Look, he gave me the money back. He knows what I'm like. Two can play the game. Why did he give you the money back? If one of you had it and the money got lost, a whole would be suspected. And now? Ask no questions, my friend. I will tell you no lies. The issue of the lost money arises only if you can't. So I go on day after day without counting. And there's always enough. You're a crook. Yes, I'm not. But are you, Simon? Not interested in power. Judas, I was. I'm like you. I gave up my life for the nationalist cause. You have become a nationalist, sensing that the people's power behind Jesus will propel you to power. I was a nationalist when it was hard, and we would be executed by the Romans if we were caught. But the day I met Jesus, Simon the Zealot died. Died? Simon the Zealot died? The Zealot died. I was bitter that my brother was killed when the Romans invaded us. I was bitter that an Edomian Herod was ruling our nation. But the day I met Jesus Christ, I realized that our priests had perverted religion with politics. They were using us young zealots to get back the religious power and the political throne by sacrificing our lives. Who were well, enriched in the highest thrones of Jerusalem? And they send their children to the higher learning centers of the world jury and expect us to fight a war to liberate motherland. None of their sons would have enlisted. That, my friend, is a way of life. The low born and those of his heart of Judah must be served by the rural Galileans. <laughs> Judas, I would have wrung your neck for that a few years ago. But being with Jesus, being with Jesus has changed that. Why did you give the zealots? Well, one reason was that I met Jesus Christ. Even before that, I have found that there are very few who are truly revolutionaries. They only want power. They preach the revolutionary ideology to new recruits. The leaders do not suffer what the juniors suffer. It is not so with Jesus. He walks with us the dusty roads of Palestine. When he heals, he does not publicize it like the politicians do. Jesus is with the common man. He has become poor that we might be enriched by his poverty. He became poor? That man was always poor. He was the son of a carpenter. He never went to school. <laughs> and you know that they even say he was born out of wedlock. <laughs> Judas, Judas, you sound like the plant of the priest. He was conceived miraculously of a virgin by God's power, though he may never have been to formal school. Has any man spoken with such erudition? 
because not only the sermons he preached, but the truth he lived. I'm convinced that man is made for pleasure. How my friend, is pleasure. Judas. That's the philosophy of my life. <laughs> Judas, you better get out of here. I still cannot trust myself to keep my hands too long away from the neck of yours. Cha cha cha, my friend. Talk can kill no one. <laughs> that talk is killing your soul. You're a living dead by the hypocrisy you have lived. Think of your child. What is he hearing and seeing? Sufficient of evil of the day. There are two. <laughs> Judas. Judas. God have mercy on your soul. You twist the scripture to say what you wanted to say. Have you no fear of God? God! I am my God! Judas! Pass a bill in the Sanhedrin prohibiting healings and these new religions. 
how are you going to stop the people, your lordship? They follow him in their thousands. What do you suggest, Judas? Things in theological, your lordship. Theologically. Theologically? Yes. Ask awkward questions about his day. Get him into controversy. And then get a witness to accuse him of religious blasphemy. And when the time is right, I will identify him to your place where you can arrest him uh, without the other seeing him. By the beard of Moses. Judas, are you not the son of Simon of Iscari? What wisdom, Judas? Any day for my campaign. I'll make you campaign manager and fundraise. Name your price. Name your price. You are very kind, your lordship. But I am not only doing this for the money. I also have a great pain about our great ancestral religion, which this man is trying to destroy with this new religion. But Judas, our culture is not destroyed by the new religion, but by old youth and even adults learning the ways of Romans, drinking and gambling, newborn babies found in dustbins. The underworld is no more like the underworld. It's more like the old world. Child abuse is rampant, and it's commonly a family member who is occulted. That's right, Your Lordship. But we must sell the idea to the tissue makers that Jesus of Nazareth must be stopped for the good of the people. That's right. Majority view is the right view. Judas, you proceed with your plan. Who knows? If you succeed, he might even appoint you to the St. Henry. Or even to the finance <laughs> You are very kind, Your Lordship. But <clears throat> uh, one in hand is worth uh, two in a push. I would like to have uh, 30 pieces of silver, please. 30, 30 pieces of silver? silver? My God, that's a lot, Judas. I've got to risk my life. <coughs> Here, 30 pieces of silver. Pass overnight. A garden of Gethsemane. How do you know that? Uh, Jesus always spends the pass overnight at the garden of Gethsemane. I believe he knows that that's his place of destiny. It's good for one to die in the whole nation. Good night.